Okay, real quick like, um, this is me, and uh, this is the next project, how to build a car. Okay, uh, I'm building a um, full-scale model of my very first car I ever owned, a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. So, um, I just thought I'd do a couple of quicks to show you how I get started with it, scaling it up. So, um, you know, I just bought a regular old... Um, Tester's model kit, one to one to um, twenty fifth scale, um, which works out pretty close to half inch equals one foot in an architect scale. So, um, I mean, pretty. I mean, within uh, at at sixteen foot, I'm within two inches. So that's a pretty good tolerance. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, next thing I did is I took the model um, body and sawed it in half. And next thing I did was I needed to scribe uh, these lines on it. I needed to put it into, uh, I need to chop it into half inch pieces so that I can have um, profiles. Um, so uh, I, I put it on this grid paper, I marked it off at half inch. Uh, how I drew the lines on there real evenly was a little trick I did. Um, this is a, uh, this is my chop saw. Uh, I'm not going to chop it with the chop saw. I have to use a little model saw. See how small the lines are there? Um, but my chop saw, my handy dandy fancy double bevel chop saw, has a laser. A laser thing. Um, see, you can see the laser line right there. Oh, that's weird. It's green in real life. And I'm looking through the camera lens and it looks like it's purple. Okay, so um, that's the, just a little trick that I did. Um, I used, uh, like I said, I'm not cutting this on the chop saw, but um, you can see that how I got to the lines. I've got this little stick in there. To, um, I, uh, you know, just scribed the lines on there using my grid paper and my laser and then just drew. But that's how I went around the curved surfaces, and you know, here's the next one, and the next one, just like that, so on. So um, now um, I'm just going to sit down here with my little saw, my little um, model making saw, real fine tooth. I don't know how many tooth per inch that is, but uh, there it is. Um, it's a very tiny saw so that I don't lose much of the body uh, and just saw through this and then I'll show you what I'll do next.